Have you ever thought about how apple juice, that delicious drink we love, is made? Well, it's more than just picking apples off a tree and squeezing them. There's a whole process behind it that makes sure you get that perfect bottle of juice every time. Let's take a journey through a juice factory to see exactly how it's done. It all starts with apples, of course, but not just any apples. When juice factories pick apples, they have to be very careful. They can't just grab the first apples they see. The process is way more complicated. To make sure the juice tastes just right, brands have to choose apples that will give them the perfect flavor. Trust me, if they pick the wrong apples, the whole vibe of the juice can be off. Farmers work hard to pick apples at the right time. They use something called the bricks level, which helps them know when the apples are sweet enough for juicing. The right timing is important. If the apples aren't harvested at the right moment, they won't taste as good. And let's be honest, no one wants bland juice. Not all apples are the same though. Some, like Fuji apples, are sweet and crunchy, making them a favorite for fruit bowls. Others, like Granny Smith, are more tart, with that sour punch that can make you pucker up. So, when juice makers choose apples, they're looking for the right balance. They want the juice to be sweet, but not too sugary, and tart, but not so sour it feels like you're biting into a lemon. It's all about finding that perfect mix. Once the apples are picked, the fun really begins. First, the apples are washed, but it's not just a quick rinse. They're soaked in water to get rid of any dirt and germs and to keep them fresh. Just like we might take a relaxing bubble bath to feel refreshed after a long day, these apples get their own spa treatment to stay clean and ready for juicing. After their bath, the apples are sorted. The factory workers set aside the best apples, like Fuji and Gala, and mix them with other varieties to get the perfect juice blend. Some apples might look a little bruised or oddly shaped, but that's okay. These apples are often the sweetest and have the most flavor, so they're perfect for juicing. So, don't judge an apple by its appearance. Sometimes the ugly ones are the best. The apples then move on to the next stage. They're carefully cleaned once again and then sent through special machines. These machines make sure the apples are ready for the big juicing process. It's amazing how much work goes into each step. Every single move is planned and timed just right, all to ensure the apples are ready to become juice. But here's something interesting. Did you know that where the apples come from can actually affect the flavor of the juice? Apples grown in cooler places, like certain parts of Argentina, have more complex sugars and acidity, making them perfect for juicing. These regions, like Rio Negro, are known for producing apples that make the most delicious juice. Once the apples are sorted and cleaned, they're ready for the next step. But before the juicing starts, there's a very important part of the process, blending. Apple juice factories don't just throw any apples into the juicer. They carefully mix different varieties to get the flavor just right. The most common mix is about 50% Fuji apples, 30% Granny Smith, and 20% Gala apples. But here's the thing, juice makers are experts at adjusting these numbers based on the season and what kind of taste they want. For example, if they want a juice with a Tangier fresher taste, they'll add more Granny Smith apples. If they want something smoother and sweeter, they might add more Gala apples. It's all about balance. These expert teams know exactly how to adjust the proportions to create that perfect, consistent flavor every time. They want the juice to taste great all year long, no matter when you buy it. So now that the apples are blended, it's time for the juicing. The apples are sent through machines that press them and squeeze out all the delicious juice. But don't think it's as simple as just smashing apples. The process is carefully controlled to make sure the juice gets every drop of flavor without any unwanted bits. The juice is filtered to remove seeds, skin, and any other parts that could mess with the smooth texture. It's like giving the juice a final cleanup to make sure it's as pure and fresh as possible. But that's not all. After the juice is squeezed out and filtered, it's still not ready to go into bottles. There's one last step, pasteurization. This is when the juice is heated to a high temperature for a short time to kill any germs or bacteria. This ensures that the juice stays fresh and safe to drink for a longer period. But don't worry, the heat doesn't affect the taste. The juice keeps its fresh, fruity flavor, just like you'd expect. Now that the juice is pasteurized, it's time to package it. 
The juice is poured into bottles or cartons, sealed up tightly, and ready to be shipped out. But even here, there's more attention to detail. The juice is carefully cooled down to the perfect temperature before it's sealed, so it doesn't lose any of its flavor. Once it's cooled, the juice is packed and sent out to stores, ready for you to pick up and enjoy. Have you ever wondered how companies make sure their juice is always the same quality? Well, it all comes down to consistency. Every batch of juice must taste just as good as the last one. That's why factories use so much technology to track every step of the process. They monitor the apples, the juice, and even the temperature to make sure everything is perfect. So, next time you grab a bottle of apple juice, just know that a lot of care went into making sure it's exactly what you want. Fresh, delicious, and ready to drink. And guess what? The whole process is becoming more and more sustainable. Many apple juice brands are now using eco-friendly practices to help the planet. For example, they're using less plastic for packaging and sourcing apples from local farms instead of shipping them from faraway places. This helps reduce their carbon footprint so you can feel good about drinking that juice, knowing it's good for the earth too. Now, let's talk about the apples themselves. Did you know that apple juice factories sometimes use imperfect apples? These apples might look a little bruised or be a strange shape, but they're actually packed with flavor. These apples are often fully ripe, which means they have the richest, most intense taste. So, while they might not win any beauty contests, these ugly apples are a secret weapon for making the best juice. It's a great example of how looks can be deceiving. Sometimes the best things come in the most unexpected packages. Once the juice is made, the next step is keeping it fresh and delicious. Some brands take it a step further by using sustainable farming practices. This means using fewer pesticides and supporting organic farming. Not only does this make the juice healthier, but it's better for the environment too. By sourcing apples locally, factories reduce transportation and lower their carbon footprint. So when you enjoy that apple juice, you're helping the planet as well. But the magic doesn't stop there. Modern technology plays a huge role in apple juice production. Advanced machines are used to clean, press, and filter the apples with great precision, ensuring the juice is pure and full of flavor. However, these machines aren't working alone. Skilled workers oversee the entire process, making sure everything runs smoothly. It's a team effort, combining technology and human expertise to create the best juice. Once the juice is ready, it's carefully bottled and sealed. But before it leaves the factory, each bottle undergoes a final quality check to ensure it's up to standard. After that, the juice is shipped to stores, ready for you to enjoy. So next time you sip on that refreshing apple juice, remember all the hard work behind it. From selecting the best apples to the careful juicing process and sustainable practices, every bottle is made with care. Apple juice isn't just a drink. It's a blend of flavor, quality, and a commitment to the planet. Thanks for joining me today. If you learned something new and exciting about your favorite juice, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more fun facts and behind-the-scenes looks at your favorite foods and drinks. See you in the next video.